We start uh, in late May, early June, start planning about what things are going to look like. And then uh, we send out some questions to the production companies, the design companies, and that's where we start coming up with exactly what we're going to make the look be for the individual gala. Uh, once we kind of get some quotes together and we've got uh, a shell of an idea to work in, that's when we really start working on the particular details. So how many lights are going to be in the air and what kind of speakers are going to hang from. That's where things start to come together in uh, mid-August to September. Uh, so once all of those things are in place, all of the final bits are drilled down in terms of what happens, and we come in on Monday and hope that everything came out exactly as it was supposed to on paper. Well, if we're to talk just from the actual beginning of setting things up, so that begins on Monday before gala, we do probably 2,200, 2,300 man hours, paid man hours, uh, and then there is a huge volunteer contingent that supports that. What I truly hope people remember as they come in is a sense of wonder, a sense of surprise, a, uh, a moment when they come in the door and go, wow, that looks, sounds, smells so great. This year's theme is, when we talk about a theme, we've kind of gone away from a specific designated theme. Uh, only to ensure that people understand this is a gala and we are always you know, going to make sure that we have a lavish gala. It's going to be something that will be talked about hopefully and, and people will say, did you go? You should have gone, you know, that type of thing. So we really want people to really want to leave a, a, a memory in their head. We want to have it an, make it an experience if you like. Uh, back to my theming and how I come up with it. The ultimate goal is to provide a, an elegant environment. We're talking uh, that it, we always call it a black tie, so if you're going to call it a black tie, then you dress the venue in that same vein. So we take these shell spaces, this, this empty space that's a field house, it's a sports facility, it's, it's empty, it's, it's kind of static and it's kind of cold. And we warm it up. We warm it up with uh, with color and with texture and uh, you know with lights. And before you know it, it's just the magic starts to happen and it starts to feel um, three dimensional. And and that's what we're looking for, looking to do. This year's event has a bit of a flair that's a little more European. I'm trying to bring the elegance that you might find in Europe. You know, in the garden scenes or you know in the venues themselves. The colors are rich and golds and burgundies and and that's the intent, is to really, really warm it up and really pull up a very elegant uh, European flair, if you like. So uh, this is our third year with Impressions Catering doing the gala. Um, we wanted to showcase how much finer our stuff is for the public and uh, so that they could taste more things throughout the night. Yeah, we developed it. We wanted to grow. We wanted to, sh you know, fine-tune some things and, and make it look, not that it wasn't good last year, we just wanted to be better than last year. So we got like 50 pounds of shrimp in, we got like uh, 50 pounds of tuna in, we got like uh, 75 pounds of raw beef in for the beef tartare, we got uh, 5,000 pieces of sushi, we got uh, probably like 30 pounds of mussels, uh, tons of fruit and vegetables. We're gonna give you a big bang this year. Big bang for the buck, yeah. Fishcore Media Co. produces hundreds of events each year, and the Cano College Gala probably ranks in about the top 10 for its size and scale. We came up here with two 53-foot trailers and four five-ton trucks, about 40 tons worth of gear. We had a crew of uh, about 20 guys working for three days, uh, eight to 10 hour days, so it's about a 500 man hour install. For an event this size, you know, it seriously can't be done without a, a tremendous uh, amount of input from various team members. And uh, Eugene Carnegie and Melaine LeBlanc have been uh, absolutely vital to the success of this event from my end because they have to feed me very current information. Couldn't have done without those guys. To plan an event of this size, Cano Gala, you require three fundamental things. Planning, skill, and luck. And we've had all three of those in abundance. This year's gala, we've had the pleasure of collaborating with over 115 sponsors to pull off this extravagant event. 
at the end of the day, the funds and contributions from those people enable us to better support our current and future students here in the community. Ample amounts of collaboration takes place throughout the planning and execution process. We need to ensure all required areas are informed and involved in the overall vision in order to produce Fort McMurray's largest black tie event. The success of this event wouldn't be possible without the generosity and support we receive from our partners and volunteers. For this year's gala, we have over 75 volunteers who put in over 500 volunteer hours throughout the evening. Uh, these people consist of our Keanu students, staff, community members, the Fort McMurray Connect Club, Air and Army Cadets, and they really help us make it all possible.